Hello Newcastle United fans and football fans all around the world. Today I am thrilled to take you back in time and explore the incredible legacy of two footballing brothers, George and Ted Robledo, who left a lasting impact on Newcastle United. Born in Chile of British descent, the Robledo brothers embarked on a journey that would etch their names in football history. George Robledo started his footballing career at Huddersfield Town. Playing as a part-time amateur, while he earned his money, coal mining, though he never managed to break into the first team. He was able to give up coal mining when he moved to 2nd Division Barnsley during the Second World War. Newcastle United signed him on January 27, 1949, for a fee of around £26,000. The fee included his brother, Ted. This is because Newcastle were only interested in buying George, but he refused to move without his brother. In the 1950-1951 season, George became the first South American to play in an FA Cup final, when Newcastle beat Blackpool 2-0 to lift the cup. Ted's role, though less highlighted than George's, was equally vital. Playing a mostly as a winner, his assists and teamwork were crucial to many of Newcastle's victories during that era. Ted made 37 appearances for Newcastle United between 1949 and 1953, before returning to Chile to continue his career. Ted made nine appearances for Chile over his international career before retiring from football in 1957. George eventually finished his Newcastle career in 1953, scoring an impressive 82 goals in 146 appearances before also returning to Chile to continue his football career. George also played for the Chilean national team, like his brother, and made 31 appearances and scoring 8 goals. Now let's talk about their most memorable season, 1951-1952. George Ribeiro finished as Division 1's top scorer in the 1951-52 season, with 33 goals in 39 in all competitions. Together, they became pivotal figures at the club during the early 1950s. But the highlight of George's career was scoring the only goal in the 1952 FA Cup final against Arsenal, leading the Newcastle to be triumphant victory and securing their status as heroes at the club. But the impact of the Ribeiro brothers wasn't just on the pitch. They were among the first wave of foreign players in English football, paving the way for the international stars we see today. Their success challenged the norms and opened doors for future talents from around the globe. Their legacy in Newcastle United remains unforgettable, remembered fondly by the fans who saw them play and revered in the club's rich history. The story of George and Ted Ribeiro at Newcastle United is just not about the goals or the trophies, it's about breaking barriers, setting new standards and inspiring generations. They were not just players, they were pioneers. Thank you for joining me in revisiting the legacy of these remarkable brothers. Their spirit and achievements continue to inspire and resonate with the halls of Newcastle United fans and beyond. So that concludes today's video. If you have liked the video, please give it a massive thumbs up as it really helps my channel grow. And if you've not already done so, Please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell notification when I release more videos. See you next time on 55 Degrees North.